Susan Hall, the Conservative candidate for London Mayor, her Oyster card holder, which contained some cash and some business cards, fell out of her pocket while she was on the train, and the bloke who sat subsequently in the chair was sitting on her Oyster card holder. Uh, someone else on the train noticed this and said, excuse me, do you notice that you're sitting on an Oyster card holder? To which the chap replied, gosh, no. And the other fellow said, well, give it to me and I'll, I'll hand it into lost property. So he did. Um... It still had all the money in it, still had the Oyster card in it, so if you wanted to steal a trip to Crystal Palace and back, you you could have done. Um, I suppose there's a slim possibility that she had encountered the world's worst pickpocketer who picked pockets and then left his spoils, his pickings, if you prefer, on full display to everybody else in public, even after his victim had left the carriage in question. But I don't think there's much mileage in that one. Um, So what happened instead was it was then handed in to the British Transport Police, who uh, found the phone number of the uh, victim of Good Samaritanism and rang her up and told her. So that would be the point normally when you might let people know that possibly this isn't a story that you're going to come on the radio to talk about as evidence of all the criminality over which Sadiq Khan has presided as Mayor of London. But you noticed in the first moment, it's not often I find myself feeling sorry for Nick. Uh, but on this, because he certainly doesn't need my sympathy. But but uh, at the first moment, if it could have happened to any of us. You set up the interview and go, so you, you are a victim of crime. To which the response is, well, either she's too silly to realise what she's been a victim of, which is public-spirited citizenship and effective policing, or she somehow thinks that she was pickpocketed, but she's got every single thing that was taken back. And that, I, I mean, is, in my view... One of the most wonderful things I have ever heard on the radio.